Okay, I got a request to answer a typical subnetting question, the type of question that you might see on the Cisco CCNA. So um, I'm going to answer this question right now and talk about how you, how you um, come up with the correct answer. Okay, the question is, you have a company and it needs a minimum of 300 subnetworks or 300 subnets. So we need 300 subnets and a maximum of 50 hosts per subnet. So we're only going to have 50 computers on each subnet, right? And using only one class B address, which of the following subnet masks will support this requirement, okay? And it's a little bit of a, a tricky question, but um, I'm going to show you basically how to approach, how you can approach this question and get correct answer, all right? Um, so, first of all, we're going to start with what it says here. One class B address, right? So I've got here, let's say, 160, which is in the class B range, right? Class B range is 128 to 191, basically. And so this is 160, so it's in the middle of the class B range, and it's 160, let's say, dot 32. So that's our starting address. Let's say we own that. Then we've got this subnet mask. 255.255.0.0. This is a net mask, actually. It's not really a subnet mask, it's a net mask. And it's, um, you know, a class B, typically, uh, net mask, right? 255.255.0.0. So this is our starting point. So if we look from that starting point, and now we break it down into the binary, right? So I'll just do this. Now we can see the binary. This top line is the binary for 160 dot 32 right dot zero dot zero right and then the, the bottom um, the subnet mask in binary right so right off the bat okay we're not going to deal with this or with this this is our starting point okay so all we need to think about are the third and fourth octets and the third and fourth octets that's what we're going to deal with here right and if we think about it in those terms right zeros in the this is the part that we're basically subnetting is these last two octets the zeros represent the hosts right and the ones will represent the networks right and we need 300 we need 300 um, subnetworks right so if we get a calculator and we say all right I need 300 subnets right I could say all right well two let's say here to the eighth power equals 256 right so that would be changing two to the eighth power so that would be eight bits right so that would be a subnet mask like this one two three four five six seven eight so borrowing eight bits for networks right right here but that only gives us 256 right so we actually need more than that what we need is 2 to the ninth power which would equal 512 subnets so we borrow one more bit right here right okay so just this these subnet bits that we've added on and borrowed from our original represent a possibility of 512 subnets. Now, what about the zeros? This represents the hosts. So, we've got seven bits of hosts here. So we say two to the seventh power equals 128 hosts. So that's plenty, right? So that, that would give us the necessary amount of, um, of hosts if we need a maximum of let's say um, 50 hosts right so of course this would be 128 and then if we were to borrow this would be um, if we had this then that would be 64 right this is the 128 bit this would be the 64 bit right so this would be 128 hosts per subnet and this would be um, 64 hosts per subnet and this would be 32 hosts per subnet. Why? How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
which is clear this 2 to the fifth power which would be 32 and that would be not enough hosts right so let's see this this right here would be 255 255 255 dot 128 bit plus the 64 bit would be 192 so that would be and that would be a good subnet mask for achieving our goals also another good subnet mask would be 255.255.255.128 and so those are the two correct subnet masks that we could use to do this and let's look at the quite let's look at the answers here right well there's e there's it's a choose two there's e right and there's b and so now you have it so i used the principle of the b borrowed bits when we borrow bits from our original that the ones represent the networks and the zeros represent the possible hosts and that would help me to answer this question everything else we could talk about why these are the wrong answers you know and we we could do that too but it's hard to look at these and just assume right off the bat without considering that we're starting from here this is what this is what we're borrowing this area so this is really what's important